so now we are going to create this qr code generator that will help us in order to generate the qr code as you can see below this particular button so guys let us say we want to generate the qr code for the url that is google.com so simply we provide the url that is google.com inside this text box and click on the generate qr so as you can see this is the qr code that is getting generated now let us test this as well so simply on my mobile device on the google browser i'll click on this google lens icon and as you can see when we get the camera on this qr code we are getting google.com as the url over here apart from this you can provide any text or the url inside this text box and you will be able to see the corresponding url that is represented by this qr code so let us test facebook.com as well so simply we will provide facebook followed by dot and then we have com over here and then let me just click on the generate qr in this case so as you can see the qr code is updated now now guys let me just get the camera over here on the updated qr code so facebook.com url is getting generated over here so this is the project that we are going to create using html css and javascript so on our mobile device you can go to the google lens over here from the google chrome browser and then when you get the camera on this particular qr code you can see that we are getting the google.com as the url so guys this qr code is working fine over here let us change the url to facebook.com so simply we will say facebook dot com in this case and when we click on the generate qr over here a separate qr code is getting generated now let us get this camera on this qr code you can see that facebook.com is getting generated over here as the text for this qr code so guys we will create this html css and javascript project so let us move to vs code so let us create a new folder inside the projects folder over here and we will name it as qr code generator so guys basically we have this folder inside which we are going to create three new files that is index.html style.css and the script.js file so i have created all the three files over here inside the folder now guys quickly we are going to create the html template inside the index.html file using the exclamation mark over here so as you can see we are making use of the emmet abbreviation of the vs code over here now we will simply say qr code generator as the title of this document and then followed by the name of this youtube channel that is programming for beginners which you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so so guys basically we have set the title also we will link the style.css file and the script.js file with this html file over here so we will make use of the link tag in this case so we have the href attribute that is style.css file over here and just before the ending body tag in this case we are going to make use of the script tag for which we are going to provide the script.js file as the source attribute so as you can see we have connected the script.js file as well where we are going to write our code in order to generate the qr code automatically on button click so guys over here first of all what we will do is simply we are going to create a div tag with the class container over here so this is the div tag with the class container and then we are going to have the paragraph we will say qr code generator in this case so guys basically we simply have the paragraph tag inside the div tag let me just save this file now and start the live server by using this go live button so guys as you can see we have started the live server over here and we are getting the paragraph tag that is qr code generator let us provide some styling attributes to the body as well as the div tag in this case and before that let me just adjust the chrome browser in this case so that we can see the code on the left hand side and whatever changes that we do we will be able to see on the browser on the right hand side in this case so i have adjusted the vs code and the browser over here now guys simply we are going to go inside the style.css file in this case and let us provide the body tag we will provide the width as 100% over here 
also the height it is equal to 100 vh this time apart from this we will also set padding it is equal to 0 and margin as well it is equal to 0 in this case we will also set the background color over here so we will say background it is equal to linear gradient this time for this we are going to set the 135 degrees as the first parameter followed by the two colors over here so let us say we provide the color that is green in this case and then followed by another color that is blue this time so guys let me just adjust the shade of the green and the blue colors over here so that it looks more decent so as you can see i have set this shade of the green and the blue color when we save this file now this is the background color that is getting applied on the web browser now guys let us also provide certain attributes to the div tag as well so in this case we are going to copy the class that is container so we have the dot container inside the style.css file since it is a class name now guys first of all let me just set the background color as white over here followed by the width of 200 pixels and also the height of 300 pixels over here so as you can see when we save this file now this is the background color that is getting generated now guys we want this div tag to be present at the center of the screen so let us provide the margin from top and bottom as 20 pixels and from left and right we are going to set it as auto so that the div tag is at the center of the screen as far as horizontal alignment is concerned so as you can see we are now getting the div tag at the center of the screen over here now guys apart from this we also want the padding of let's say 20 pixels and we will set the border radius as well so let us provide the border radius of 20 pixels so this is the border radius and the padding that we are getting now guys apart from this we can also set the text align as center in this case so simply we will say text align it is equal to center now guys after this paragraph that is qr code generator we want the input box and the button as well so that we can generate the qr code so simply what we are going to do is we will make use of the input tag with the type that is text over here and simply for the name part we will provide input and also the id as input over here apart from this we will also provide the placeholder as we will say text or url so guys basically you can provide anything like it can be a text or it can be a url as well inside the text box based on which the qr code will be generated now guys after this let me just save this file now this is the input box that is getting generated over here and then we will also have the button with the id that is generate qr so guys simply we have the button with the id that is generate qr and also we will set the text as generate qr over here let me just save this file now this is a simple button that is getting generated now guys let us provide the styling attributes to both these input box and the button tags as well so simply let me just copy the id that is input over here and inside the style.css file we will provide hash character followed by input and then we will simply provide the padding it is equal to 5 pixels over here so this is the only styling attribute that we want to provide to the input box in this case we don't want any other fancy styling to be provided over here now guys apart from this let us also provide the styling attribute to the button as well so we provide hash character followed by the generate qr this time we are going to provide the background color as the version of a green color over here so let me just set it as a light green color in this case apart from this we will also set the width as 100 percent over here and also the height as 30 pixels this time so guys let me just provide the height and the width as well so as you can see this is the button that is getting generated let me just provide the top and bottom margin as 10 pixels and 0 pixels from left and right over here apart from this let me just also remove the border so border it is equal to none we will also provide border radius which is equal to 10 pixels this time so as you can see this is the button that is having certain styling attributes now guys also we will provide the cursor it is equal to pointer over here and we also want this button to scale down when we get the mouse cursor on this particular button so what we will do is simply we are going to say generate qr followed by colon and then we have the hover pseudo class in this case so guys on hover we want to scale down this particular button so we need to make use of the transform 
transform CSS property, we will provide the scale function over here followed by 0.9 as the parameter. So from 1, it is going to scale down to 0.9 in this case. And also we want a certain transition while the button is scaling down. So simply we will provide transition. It is equal to transform this time. And we want the time period as 0.3 seconds over here. So when we save this file now, and you can see that when we get the mouse cursor over here, it is transforming that is scaling down to 0.9 of its entire size in this case. So guys, when we click on the generate QR, basically an image should be generated over here below the button that is going to be the QR code for the text or the URL that we are going to provide inside this input box. So guys, we need to first of all provide the image placeholder over here. So simply we will say image. In this case, we are not providing the src attribute we are going to generate it using the api that i am going to show you and then simply we are going to say qr code here as the alternate text for this particular image so when we save this file now you can see that since we are not having the src attribute value it is giving us the qr code here as the alternate text this time so guys we are going to fix this when we are going to click on the generate qr button in this case so how do we generate the qr so basically let me just show you the api that we are going to use so guys simply on google you can say qr code api over here so when you search qr code api this is the site that you can use go qr.me followed by api over here so when we click on this particular link as you can see this is the qr code generator website that can be used also i'll give this link in the description as well so that you can use it so basically let us check the example of this particular api over here so this is the api that you can use and based on the text you can see at the end after data it is equal to example over here basically this is the qr code for the text example you can provide your own text over here so let us say i provide test as the string in this case and when we press enter you can see that the qr code is updated this time so we are going to provide certain url over here at the end and then we are going to click on the generate qr code in order to display the updated qr over here so guys what we will do is simply i'm going to copy this particular api and then come to our vs code this time and then we are going to paste this api over here for reference purpose so guys now first of all we need to identify the input box so as you can see this is the input box which can be identified by using this particular id that is input so let me just provide the variable that is input over here it is equal to document followed by dot and then we have the query selector so in order to find the html tag with the id we provide the hash character followed by the id in this case similarly we want to identify the button as well so that when the user clicks on this particular button we want to get the qr code over here so simply let me just duplicate this line of code in this case and then we will say button generate qr over here and then followed by the id of the button that is generate qr this time and then apart from this we also want the image as well so basically we need to provide the id over here so simply we will say image qr this time so guys the same id we are going to copy and paste this over here in order to identify the image qr where our qr code will be displayed now guys simply we are going to create a function in order to call this api so we will say generate qr as the name of the function and then first of all we are going to check whether the user has provided some text or the url inside this text box so how do we do that simply we need to get the value from this input variable so we will say if followed by input dot value so this time the value will be used in order to get the value that is provided by the user inside the text box if it is equal to blank so three times we are going to use equal to and if it is blank then we are going to provide the alert to the user so we will say please provide valid input so guys as you can see if the user has not provided any input over here then we must provide the alert saying that we have to provide the valid input in this case and then we also have to provide the return statement so that the other lines of code are not executed since a user has not provided any input over here and then after this what we have to do is if the user has provided certain input 
then the user clicks on the generate qr button and then after that we need to set the source attribute of the image at this time so how do we do that simply we make use of the image qr variable over here followed by dot and then we have something called a set attribute since we want to set the src attribute of this particular image this time so guys simply we will provide the src that is the first argument over here which is the parameter for that image tag which is one of the attributes of the image tag this time and then followed by comma and we need to provide the second parameter as the value that we want to set to this src attribute so what is the value this entire api will be the value over here so let me just cut it and paste this over here as the second attribute now guys what we are trying to do over here is we are going to set the api which is going to return as the qr code which is going to be the image over here and we are going to set it as the src attribute for this particular image that we have provided now this very important thing is we need to provide this api in between the single or the double quotes so simply let me just enclose it within the single quotes over here and then instead of having this test string that we had provided over here we need to get the data from this input so basically we need to set it as input dot value over here so let me just remove this test and then we will make use of the string concatenation and simply we will make use of the input variable that is going to hold the data that is provided by the user over here before clicking on the generate qr followed by dot and then we have the value so guys whatever value is provided by the user inside the text box it will be set as the input for this particular data parameter of this api and the relevant qr code will be generated over here so this is the function that is going to set the src attribute for that particular image now we want to call this particular function on the button click so what is the button we have this button generate qr so we use this followed by dot and then we have the add event listener what is the event that we are going to listen to we will listen to the click event over here followed by dot and then we call this callback function that is generate qr so simply we have provided the callback function that is generate qr over here let me just save this file now and let us come on the right hand side on the browser when we simply click on the generate qr without providing any input you can see that we are getting the alert please provide valid input over here which is the correct validation in this case now guys what we will do is simply i will provide the url that is google.com in this case and then after providing the input we are going to click on the generate qr you can see that the qr code is getting generated over here now guys i will show you whether this qr code is correct or not let me just switch to my mobile device over here so as you can see on my mobile device on the chrome browser i am going to click on this icon that is google lens over here so as you can see now i am pointing to my computer screen in this case and then basically i am going to get this particular camera on the qr code so now you can see that we are successfully able to read this qr code and it is showing google.com as the text over here when we click on the google.com in this case so directly we will be able to go to the google website over here that is the search engine now guys apart from this let us provide some other text over here instead of google.com so simply i am going to provide it as facebook.com over here so you can see that we have provided the facebook.com in this case and then when we click on the generate qr over here a separate qr code is getting generated and now i'm going to get the camera on this particular updated qr code so as you can see facebook.com text is getting generated over here based on this qr code so guys in this way you will be able to generate the qr code by using this particular api which i have provided in the description section as well so comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video till then stay tuned